Witch's Tale. The fascination of the eerie. Weird, blood-chilling tales told by old Nancy, the witch of Salem, and Satan, her wise black cat. They are waiting, waiting for you. Now. And 17 year old I be today. Yes, sir. A hundred and seventeen year old. <laughs> well, Satan, this be a nice night for one of our cheerful little bedtime stories, yes? <laughs> oh, Satan's gonna yarn to fit just such a night as this. <laughs> Satan, tell everyone to douse their light. That's it. Now draw up to the fire and gaze into the embers. Gaze into them deep. And soon you'll see a dusty road way out in California in the year of 1852. Now down that road you'll hear a horseman riding. As he rides into our story, we'll begin... And it's what we call four fingers and a thumb. (laughs) Four fingers and a thumb. (laughs) Wait up for me, Bert. I'm waiting, Dan. I ain't no end to travel alone when I can find a sociable fella to talk to. You going to the mine on business? Well, Cash sent in word by one of his Chinamen that he was itching to play a little stud poke this evening. Yeah, like everybody else in these parts, I think he's a low-down, dirty skunk. Well, if he wants to risk his money against mine, there's no reason why I shouldn't let him do it. <laughs> Cash is a good card player. Yeah, and the boys have got an idea that you're deliberately easy with him. Well, they're entitled to their opinion, I reckon. Kirk, I want to talk to you like a Dutch uncle and to warn you. Warn me? Yes. You ain't deceiving anybody by your actions, Cash Pelton least of all. Then I guess I don't understand you. Well, here it is in plain words, then. You're crazy about Cash's wife and... She's crazy about you. Cash is old enough to be her father. And someone ought to bash his head in for the way he treats her. Unless you come out bold and take her away from him mighty quick, he's going to get you some way. Cash has no reason to be jealous of me. Decent women neither respect or fall in love with my kind, Dan. I make my living with my wits and four trained fingers and a thumb. You're a square gambler, Dick Burke. I'll hang it along at the Chinese at the mine, Dan. Do you dislike them as much as ever? And don't every decent white man in California despise the yellow devils, except in you? Well, they're mostly clean, conscientious, and honest. Yeah, you wag your tongue too free sometimes, defending them heathens. The general feeling against them is getting higher all the time. You know, I lived in China for nigh on five years, Dan. Yeah, that's where I learned the fine points of gambling. And I also learned the Chinese are mighty fine people if you treat them right. Uh, maybe so. But you better not be spouting such ideas to anyone but a friend like me. Round here, if it was thought you looked on Chinamen as equals, you'd just have to close your card room and get out of town. Yeah, I know. But I don't want to leave this town yet. Mm, I know that. Well, there's Cash's house ahead of us. And it looks like Mrs. Pelton is standing by the road. Yeah, I see. Well, I'll turn off here. See you later, boy. Good night, Dan. I've been watching for you, Mr. Daly. 
You must go back the way you came before Cash sees you. Go back? Why, he sent word for me to come here. I know. If you play cards with him tonight, no other white man in this county will ever play with you again. Why? He's got a Chinaman waiting in the house to join your game. A Chinaman? Yeah, a Chan Lu, who's head man among the coolies. Oh, Cash hates you, Mr. Daly. If you play, he means to spread the word around and ruin you. And if you don't play... But he's got a gun strapped on his hip, and he's been drinking. But if I go away, he'll know you warned me. Oh, he won't hurt me. Say, why do you keep that side of your face turned away from me, Mrs. Pelton? You kept it so ever since you came to meet me. Let me see. No, no. I thought so. It's all bruised where he's hit you again. Oh, Cash ain't ever hit me. And anyway, there's nothing you can do, nothing. Oh, if only you'd give me the right. I've never said it before. But you've known it without my saying that I love you. Just as Cash has known it. Oh, don't. I'm dealing a square hand, Susan. Let me send you to my sister in Virginia. Till you get a divorce. Then let me come and marry you. Or marry some other fellow who's a whole lot better. Just so as you could get away from this. Oh, there couldn't be anybody better. Susan. You mean... Oh, I mean I married Cash Pelton for better or for worse. And there's nothing to be done about it. There is. No, please go away now. Uh, hey, hey. Daily, <laughs> so my little wife went to meet you, Daily. Well, hurry up. My fingers are itching for the cards. So am I, in Cash. What are you going to do? Play. But it'll ruin you to play with a chink. I'll gamble on that. Oh, you mustn't. Quiet. Well, come on, Daily. Table, cards, and whiskey all waiting. All you got to do is lay your money down and meet the fellow who's going to make our third. Come here, Chang Lu. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This humble person is honored to stand before the most excellent Mr. Daly. I am very pleased to meet you, Mr. Chang. Huh? And I shall be pleased to play cards with you. You're willing to shake hands, too, with a Chinaman. It's a custom to shake hands with the friends of your host. I, I clasp esteemed hand in spirit which offers it. It is written that four fingers and a thumb extended in friendship greater than ten thousand hands coming with swords. And another sage of your country has said, evil plans rebound upon the planner. I knew a namesake of yours, Mr. Chang. You refer to the sorcerer, Cheng Lu? Sorcerer? Yes. Are you of his family? It is my privilege to honor a great man of whom you speak of his revered ancestor, wise student. <laughs> they say his magic powers were transmitted to his descendants. That'll make you a dangerous man to play stud poker with. <laughs> Sit down. And no one around here better try any magic with these cards. Four fingers and a thumb which steal the cards are servants of the soul. They can only do evil if evil soul commands them. That's also the case when a man's hand is doubled to hit a woman. What do you mean by that? I was just thinking. Cut the deal. So, you get out of here. Yes, Cash. I've got a hunch this is going to be my night, Mr. Daly. Tonight, I'm out to win. We may anticipate pleasant game. five you got shown don't look like much to me, Daly. My two pair raises you a hundred. The wise man does not go to war unarmed. I prudently withdraw. Let's raise it another five hundred cash. If you got me beat again... There's only one way to find out. You can't bluff me. I'll see you. Only see me? Haven't you got a full house cash? Yes, I got a full house. And here it is. And if you got another five in the hole... Here it is. I never saw such luck. If it's only luck. It's only luck and purpose. Your deal, Mr. Chang. Well, I'm quitting for a while to stretch my legs. <laughs> Walking around your chair don't do much good, Cash. Why not try unbuckling that pistol from your belt? Guns in a friendly game is most unlucky to the wearers. You never mind about this gun. Oh, it doesn't bother me. It's you I'm thinking of. Well, you better just think of yourself. I'm thinking of me, too. I... 
Uh, so, so bring me another bottle of whiskey. Yes, Cash. It's pretty late. Be a good idea, don't you think, to let your wife go to bed and get some sleep instead of totting liquor. You're giving a little more advice than is wanted around here, Daly. I'm here tonight to give you only what you asked for. What do you mean by that? What do you think I mean? Here's the whiskey, Cash. I'll tell you what I think now, while she's here. So listen. Cash. So, you told him tonight was to be a showdown between him and me. That's why you sneak outside to meet him. But you walked into it anyway, Daly, thinking you'd find a way to bluff yourself out. Well, you won't. Tomorrow I spread the news that you played cards with his heathen Chinese. And if that don't drive you out of town, I'm coming gunning for you. You have nerve enough to gun for me. But I God, I'll do it now. Don't draw the gun, not. My, my wrist. <clears throat> That's a trick I learned in China. And now you'll get your showdown. Don't shoot. No. I don't use a pistol on an unarmed man. I'm going to throw this gun into that far corner, Cash, and the best man gets it. We start even now. No, no, Come on. no, 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 you have filled him into the land of sleep, Mr. Daly, from which he will presently return more sober, if no less evil. If you hadn't stepped in, he'd have got me. There's blood dripping from your sleeve, Chan Lu. His knife struck you. A mere nothing for a friend. Oh! Susan! Look! On the floor! God! Yes. His blow cut off. My unworthy hand, Chang Lu, accepted as payment for four fingers and a thumb extended to one of a despised race in gracious spirit. Get a bandage, Susan. Then run for old Dan and send him for a doctor. Right away. Your trouble too much. Destiny cannot be altered. Hold him, Miss Celia. But four fingers... And a thumb, though severed, are still servants of the soul. Tell unworthy Mr. Cash Pelton that when he recovers. What? What did he mean by that? I don't know. You're sure he's going to live back? You heard the doctor say we stopped the blood in time. But maybe we should have stayed back with the chink in his shack. Ah, he's better left with his own people. Jang Lu has a mighty honored name among those Chinese. They'll take care of him. They they may avenge him, too. You told Cash that when he come to. And I wasn't fooling. They know they can't expect any justice from the law around here. You didn't tell him what Chang Lu said to tell him, Lu, just before he fainted away. Oh, that didn't make sense. We're almost back to your house, Sue. And your husband. If you never knew what sort of a rat he was before, you learned it tonight. Oh, you've got to let me take you to my sister in Virginia. No, no, Burke. Still for better or for worse, huh? Yes. Till death do us part is part of the marriage service, too. I can do something about that. Oh, don't talk that way. Ain't I seen enough fighting and blood tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm not the killing sort anyway. If I was, I'd have finished cash when I took his gun away. I'm glad. That's why I really love you, Burke. 
Susan. Don't try to kiss me, please. As you can't kill, I can't cheat. I know. Reckon fools like us just have to wait for destiny to help us out. Or finish us altogether. When I was begging Chang Lu to stop your fighting, he talked about destiny as if he could read it. You weren't serious tonight when you said his family were magicians. If poor Chang had had any magic. He'd have used it to save his hand, I reckon. Of course. But he said such funny things. Here's the house. I'll take you inside. But Cash... I've got his gun and knife. Besides, he'll be too busy worrying what the Chinese are going to do with him to start anything new with me. Come on. Burke. Burke, look on that door. God. Chang Lu's severed hand. Someone's nailed it there. And that someone was me. Cash! Why did you? Step inside and I'll tell you. He's got another gun. You bet I have. Stick up your hands, Daly, and come inside, both of you. Aren't you facing trouble enough as it is, Cash? You two are going to get me out of trouble with them Chinamen. What do you mean? First, give me that pistol you took away tonight and hold it by the barrel. Burke. Here it is. That's fine. Now sit down. And don't worry, for I ain't going to hurt you if you do just like I say. Before you, the doctor and old Dan carried Chang Lu away from here. You told me plenty about what his people are like to do to me daily. But I've been thinking of a way to stop that with your help. I don't get you. You will. I know something about Chinamen the same as you. I know they're gamblers and that every gambler hates a cheat. All of us are going to swear that I cut off Chang's hand because we caught him cheating. Are you crazy? Yeah, like a fox. Neither of you are going to be out of my sight until you tell that story where it's got to be told. And I'll have a gun on you every minute till you tell it. They won't believe it if we do tell it. I've thought of that. That's why I nailed that hand outside the door. It's going to be the clincher. When they see that, they're going to feel sure a man with nerve enough to put it there is in the right. I'll never back you up in such a rotten if lie. you don't, you'll get a bullet in your heart. Yes. I mean what I say. Someone's knocking. It may be the Chinese now. Open the door, Sue. And remember... I'll do whatever you say, Burke. You... He'll do what I say, too. Open that door. There's no one here. Someone knocked. Twice. I know, but they're gone. Well, let me see. Well, that's funny. No one in sight. Guess we didn't hear no knocking. Close the door. There it is again. What the... There's still no one here. But we heard it that time, sure. There's old Dan. He's the one who... He's 50 yards away. Dan, were you knocking at this door? How could I be knocking? I just come to your house. To tell you that Chang Lu is dead. Dead? Chang Lu? The doctor said he'd get well. The doc was wrong. Chang came out of his faint, asked the time, then said he'd be dead in just five minutes. And he was. He knew when he was going to die? Yep. And his last words was a message to you, Cash. Seems he wanted to tell you that four fingers and a thumb are always servants of the soul. What? That knocking again. Beside me. It's a hand on the door. It's moving, pulling loose from the nail. The thing's alive. Oh, it's dropped to the ground. It's coming towards me. It's climbing up your leg. Knocking loose. It wants to reach me close. Ah! It's falling off. There it goes through the grass. But it'll come back again. It'll come back to kill me. Four dead fingers on the thumb. Sure, it can't get in here. Oh, you're sure it can't get in? You barred the doors, closed and shut at every window. And you've been over the house a hundred times to make certain nothing bigger than a fly can enter. But this is a dead thing. 
ghosts can enter anywhere. That hand is flesh and bone, Cat. Yeah, dead flesh and bone that moves like something living. I can still feel its clutching fingers as it tried to clamber up my leg. That was near an hour ago, and we ain't seen or nor heard it since. Maybe we'll never see it again. No, it'll come back. Come back for me. Because his soul is directing them four fingers and a thumb, just like he said. You won't leave me, you two. I'd go plumb crazy if I had to wait alone. Daily, I've even gone down on my knees to say I'm sorry for what I've done to you and Sue. I'll go down on my knees again if you'll swear that you won't leave me. Ah, for God's sake, stop that and try to be a man. We've said we'd stay. I wouldn't leave even you to face that thing alone. Oh, I still can't believe we really saw it. We really saw it, Bert. I saw it. Heard it. Felt it. Oh, Dan ran away after it. It happened, Cash, and later we heard a galloping horse. He must have lit out for town to tell folks, and soon he'll be back here with help. Folks can't help me again, the dead. I might be surrounded by an army, and still them fingers would come a-clutching for me. Oh, God. What time you say it was when it wrenched itself off that door and come for me? Near five o'clock. Now it's almost six. An hour. It seems like a hundred years. And I never meant to hurt it. It was just an accident. An accident. You can't lie to the dead, Cash. You lunged at him deliberately with that knife because he came between you and me. I was drunk. I didn't know what I was doing. You were drunk when you struck your wife. Drunk when you tried to shoot me. Yes, and I'd have had a bullet in my body if I didn't move faster than you. And Chang Lu is dead. I know, I know. Oh, God, forgive me. Chang Lu, forgive me. Say... An hour ago, it was still dark night. Since then, the sun's been coming up. It's nearly day. We could blow out these lamps if we didn't have the shutters drawn. Maybe that's the reason we ain't seen or heard that hand no more. Because the dead and their power is only strong in darkness. Burke, that may be so. I never thought of that. It is so. While it's light, that thing can't come for me. And by the time it's dark again, I can be so far away it won't even find me. It's only a cut-off hand (laughs) with just fingers and a thumb to pull it along. It can't follow a man on a good, fast horse. Pack your things, Sue. We're getting away from here. Oh, no. You can go, but she don't go with you. Oh, yes, she does. And before we go, Mr. Daly, I ain't finished what I started on you last night. Put down that gun, Cash. Burke's helped you, being your friend. I don't need his help of friendship now, for I know I'm safe. I know I'm safe. What? What? Something knocked on the bottom of the door. And something's moving outside the cell. It's some kind of little animal. Maybe a rat. Animals don't knock. It can't be. Can't be. Something white has been pushed under the door. A piece of paper. Get it. Get it. What is it? Look. There's a Chinese figure on it. Yeah. Traced in dried blood. It's the Chinese character for six. Six? That means six o'clock. That knock again. One knock for yes. Six o'clock. It'll be that in just three minutes, and then the hand will come for me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? It can't get in this house. It can't. Listen. It's pulling itself up the door frame by my ivy vine. It can't get in here. It can't. What was that? A key turned in the lock. Well, that won't help it. This door is barred inside. Yes, you fool. But you left the key outside and it's locked us in. Well, that won't do no harm. What's that? It's dropped back to the ground. And now it's pulling itself away. How fast it moves. Like a rabbit jumping. Well, maybe it's got some way to get in. You barred every outside door and shut at every window. Ah! Oh, in the next room. There's a light in the hole in that shutter. It squeezed through and broke the pane. With that heavy door key. It's coming this way. Shut the door, quick. Too late, it slipped by me. Get away from me. Away. Shoot it, shoot it. Oh, 
Oh, bullets don't stop it, and it's almost six o'clock. It's got me in the corner, and I can't get away. Here, keep your wits. It's only a hand. You can throw it off like you did before. <laughs> then we'll find some way to destroy it. There. Good Lord. And pulling that table top under the lamp. The lamp is falling. <laughs> ah, the oil's on the clothes. I'm burning. You've got to see me, Bert. Even a dog can't die like that. I can't get to him. There's a wall of flame between. <laughs> and the clock. <laughs> the clock. Oh, he's shot himself. We must get out of here, Sue. We'll be trapped like he was, and I haven't a gun. We'll burn to death. I've got the door unbarred. Come on. Oh, I forgot this door is locked outside. Look, the hand. He dropped the key at my feet. Oh, now it's going towards the flames. It's in the fire. I've got the door open. Come on. Oh, Burke. Oh, Burke, we're free. For better now and not for worse. That voice. I heard it too. It is written that four fingers and a thumb extended in friendship is greater than ten thousand hands coming with swords. Well, that's the end of that one, Satan. Sleep good till next time, little children. 